Are you looking for true personal freedom? The freedom to design the life you truly desire? Then you're absolutely in the right place. True personal freedom comes from when you take 100% responsibility and control of your money and your mind. Here, you're going to learn ideas, tips, and wisdom that's gonna help you bridge the gap from where you are now to your dream life in the future. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. Today, I wanna talk about three thieves. You've got three thieves going on in your life right now. And I would say that we probably all do at any given moment and at any given level, just kind of depends. So the idea is to get control of these thieves and stop stop allowing them to control your ideas, con- to control your thoughts, to control your actions, which is then going to impact your results. So what are those three thieves? Those three thieves are doubt, worry, and fear. The three thieves that are keeping you from achieving the greatness that you desire. So it goes back to a episode that I've done in the past that I've talked about your BS, calling out your BS, your beliefs and your stories. So when you have doubt in your mind, this has been my experience that that is almost a built in safety response that your subconscious mind is trying to keep you safe from a perceived danger. When in reality, there's nothing to be afraid of. One thing I've been taught uh, that really resonated with me is that when we are born, there are only two uh, fears that we are born with. And that is the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. Everything else is taught. We are taught to have fear about other things. Think of uh, simply like crossing the road. Uh, You can probably remember as you were growing up that you were told to look both ways and how dangerous it was. Or so if you weren't, if you didn't have that fear, you your instincts were to just walk out in the middle of the road. And we know that that's not good. But when those fears are amplified, and creates more doubt in your mind based on the stories, based on the programming that you're running through your your mind and your thoughts, that is what is going to keep you impacted uh, when it, in terms of making better decisions and applying it to achieving greater things in your life. One thing I've learned also is the difference in kind of understanding the difference between uh, kind of thinking of things from a depression standpoint or be having some anxiety. So anxiety is when you have worries about what's coming up into the future. And how I was described to me was that when you are thinking like you're depressed or you're down, you're thinking more from Uh, the past, your past thoughts, your past ideas, and you're bringing those forward into your current environment. So same thing when you're thinking about into the future, you're taking your current situation and you're projecting that into the future, which is then creating the the anxiety into your life. The good news about that is that both your past and your future are in your imagination. They aren't real. They aren't your current circumstances. So that's when you realize that number one, you can begin taking back that control. Now, I'm not saying that those feelings don't hurt. I'm not saying that those feelings aren't important because how I describe it to my wife, a lot of times that when the doubt, worry or fear starts creeping in, when I start doubting myself based on the past, or when I have start gaining some worry or fear because of something that I'm perceiving into the future, I can begin to understand that intellectually. So in my mind, I understand that that is not true. Like those are not true, like the outcomes are not true, but it doesn't make me feel any better. And that's the hard part. So what I've begun to do, and this is the kind of the lesson that I wanna share with you today, is that the idea is that those three thieves, the doubt, the worry, and the fear 
are made up stories based on past programming, based on past experiences that we've all had. So each one of us have different ones, different stories, different ideas, different beliefs. And it's our ability to take control of those in our mind, in our consciousness, in our ability to think, in our ability to critically think, to question them, to, uh, that's really just a simple question. Just, is this true? I ask myself that a lot is that when these doubts, worries, and fears are coming into my mind, I think to myself, is this true? Is this real? And when you can answer that in honesty of being no, when the answer is no, once again, the feeling doesn't always feel good, but at the same time, then you can continue to take action towards whatever it is that you're working towards. So let's use launching this podcast as an example. As I've gotten closer, to the launch date, those doubts, those worries, those imposter syndrome ideas, all of the things that normal people have start to creep up in my mind. And what it, the difference is this time versus what has happened to me in the past is that I recognize those ideas and those thoughts. Once again, it doesn't necessarily make me feel better, but I know that they are not real. I know that they are not true. I know that I'm going to be producing the best content that I possibly can. I know that I'm going to be bringing on the best guests that I can possibly get booked to join me. I hope, I don't know for a certainty, but I hope that you will be gaining value from these episodes that I produce. So that changes the thought process in my mind to knowing that my doubts and my worries and my fears are not true. With that, in hand, then I can begin to continue to take action, like hitting record today, like jumping on and creating this episode right now. It would be easy for me to not be doing what I'm doing right now. But through discipline, through determination, through having the desire, through making the decision, I want to be right here doing this today. And the doubt, the worry, the fear, the thieves that are trying to keep me from achieving what I'm out here to achieve aren't going to win today. And that's when your life can get really exciting. So hope you found value in that today. So think about the three thieves. Think about how they are showing up in your life. Uh, one saying that I really love, and I uh, give credit back to uh, uh, Henry Ford, uh, and it, it goes like this. It's that whether you believe you can or believe you can't, Either way, you are correct. So sit there and think about that for just a second and work towards gaining control of your beliefs, your doubts, your worries, your stories, and figure out a way how you can become aware of them, sit with how they make you feel, but then continue to take action anyways, knowing that, that more than likely they are just a made up part of your imagination because your past and your future are both part of your imagination. And the beauty, of you, the beauty of it is, is that when you realize that, that your future is part of your imagination, you begin going to work today using your imagination to create the life that you desire. And that's super exciting. So once again, I hope you found value in that episode. Think about control, doubt, worry, and fear, the three thieves that are keeping you from achieving your greatness. So if you found value in this episode, please share it with your family and your friends. I'm trying to grow the podcast. I hope that this has been uh, something that you are enjoying. Uh, hopefully you are uh, finding value, something that you can then begin applying in your life. When I've discovered these things in my life, it's definitely helped me achieve greater things a lot faster than I ever thought possible. So go out there, make it a fantastic day. And I look forward to the next episode where we will keep diving in and becoming better, a little bit better every day. Until then, thanks now. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. I hope you found a ton of value in this episode. If so, I'd really appreciate a five-star review. And you can also share it with your family and friends. And as my mentor Jim Roden shared with me, in order to have more, 
you must first become more. And in order to become more, you must work harder on yourself than you do on your job. So go out there today and work harder on yourself to become more and build the life of your dreams. Until next time, my friends. Thank you.